Welcome to uh, Nalu Stand Up Paddle and Surf in uh, beautiful Rocky River, Ohio. This is actually an old marina warehouse that sits right on the banks of the Rocky River. We're about maybe half a mile, quarter of a mile out to Lake Erie. So it's pretty barren in here. It's, you know, not a whole lot of decor, but uh, it's still a pretty cool place. About five years ago, a good friend of mine told me that I needed to check into this stand-up paddle thing. It, you know, it was one of those where as soon as I got out on that board, you know, I fell a few times and then just fell in love with it. Probably paddled by this shop 30 times and always looked up at it and thought, man, that would be a really cool little place to have. And last summer I paddled by and it said for rent. So I rented it. That's how this got started and that's how I met all these great people here. Normally we'll have anywhere from, you know, 40 to 50 boards in here or in stock, uh, different manufacturers, Corbin, F1, Powahana, Boardworks, Doyle, Dolce, a bunch of different brands. In addition, we've got our wetsuit area and all of the other accessories that you need, especially for going out this time of year. I do this and then I have a, they call it a tuxedo. So it's like a shorty, but with long arms and then it zips, you know, up the front. This is kind of an interesting board, the Laird board that was made by Puma. This is actually a hollow carbon fiber board that is the exact same shape as their Volvo Ocean Race sailboat. The great thing about paddle boarding around here is that, you know, we have so much water and we have no sharks. <laughs> For surfing, you need waves. For stand-up paddling, you need water. And we get some days where you can get out there and stand-up paddle surf. The lake uh, can kick up some pretty good waves. We don't get swell conditions like oceans. Wind develop, there's short swells. Uh, when the wind dies, the waves die. Typically, northern winds will bring cold fronts. The majority of that is in the winter, fall, spring. Occasionally in the summer, we'll be able to get out there and, uh, and surf in uh, uh, just shorts and trunks or bikinis. So there has been a, a, a long, fairly long term, term, but small surfing community in, uh, on Lake Erie. And just getting back into the sport as a stand-up paddler, a lot of these guys have never seen stand-up. See in the ocean, people get salt on their soup because they're in the water. We get it because we touch our car. <laughs> yeah. You know, going out there and toughing it out and you know knowing that you can tough it out with the guys and these guys have been awesome bill hooked me up with a couple paddle boards <laughs> it's a good day no garbage it's not frozen yet so we still have some time you know if you go to the sledding hill you'll see kids whooping it up and really just enjoying that kind of childlike wonderment that has been kind of beaten out of us as we've matured into adults but then you get out into the water and you're in this kind of level playing field where you can really experience joy. The Cleveland surfers kind of epitomize the Cleveland ethos as it relates to a lot of things because you know, to go stand outside of Brown Stadium for a Browns game when you're freezing your butt off in the wind and the ice and the snow. Similarly, it's because you want it so bad. If you live in California or West Coast, it's ideal, but if you have family here or work here, you know, and you're in Cleveland, you make the best of what you have, and it's, it's awesome to have a lake that you can even surf and paddleboard at all. Yeah, it's, um, you know, this again being a, uh, an old marina warehouse, when I moved in, um, we got some 1967 El Dorado parts that came along with the shop. And I was really debating about whether to ask the guy that owns them to take them out of here. And, you know, I thought, well, you know, I don't really need that space up there. And, and now some people refer to this as, uh, you know, Nalu stand-up paddle and car parts. But the one thing that stays for sure is our little stationary tub that's always full of beer. 
It's easy love, it's like a glove from up above to get.